come in. Yes. How you, you doing? Having a, you had a coffee? Uh, yeah, thank you. I just enjoy being around, you know, two people that are very much in love, very warm, very giving, you know, always happy to sit down and have a chat. Zepp and Alp done it, this is the Alpha House in November 1979. Is that you, Joe? Yeah, that's me. Oh, it's a bird. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's flat up. I was in the job and help, I was at the end. I gave him the flower. I had the blonde hair, the long hair. Do you remember the first time you saw Les? At, at, at Sunshine. He was about 16 or 17 years old. Um, he was in Boys Club. I used to be in Junior Boy. Yeah, Junior Boy, that's yeah, right. Yes, Junior Boy, when I first came to Sunshine, I was about nine years old. I uh, came here to Sunshine in 1963. We all live in a home. We live together. We're all friends. This is Josephine. She's 24. That's me. And she's been at Sunshine for 19 years. She likes playing her tapes in my room, which I don't mind. Is that how you remember Joe back oh. at Sunshine? Yeah. Long time ago. Yeah. I was always happy with this delight. He's, he's, he's handsome. That's good. <laughs> um, and also he, he can lift me up. It's always been a happy life. I had the window for the 20th of July. Oh, that's on the Saturday, 1996. That was on the Normal Head Church. That's the water, that's all. <laughs> they are my boss mates. And Joe and I walked in inside the shed. So you still go to the same church? Oh, same shirt. Yeah. Every Sunday. Mm. Every Sunday. Hello, Joe. How are you? Well, Josephine, it's been great, great to be with you today. It really yeah. is wonderful. Oh, yeah, Ted Fade in the street. There are a lot of people there. Cup on the Yes, how many, how many photographs have you got to put in? This year, going to put three. Yeah, so three. And last year, they had to put one of the, the bird, uh, the flame, that like a bird. Oh, yeah. But this year, going to be in something else. I like to take through a lot of photographs because it's good to have a good memory. Okay. Tell the army to get a night photographs. Been gone for about oh, about 40 years and uh, take a night photographs. Hi oh, yes. Okay. So. <laughs> Actually, I helped Les do the shopping. Um Les, he does all the bills. Okay. Uh, this one here, that for the head. I had the uh, white paws, a lamp, uh, waste dinner. And that can get real done like that. And I put a little bit of carrot, put in the potato. That was really nice. And important, no, important. Now listen, if you finish cooking, turn it off. Off. Turn the gas off because okay. some people are very safe. You know. Right. Got to keep it clean and tarp it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you. Again. Oh. I know you don't like doing the, the hoover, right? That's all. Right? It's got to be done, that's all. That's right. Right? OK. I'm with the table. Oh, I'm with the table. <laughs> OK. Never complain. Always get it done nicely. 
Thanks for the coffee, Les. I guess over the years, Sunshine's been able to support Joe and Les to make their own choices, to facilitate that change in moving into their own house, getting married, to create a good life. Long staff for, for Les. I got given colours. Joe and Les are an inspiration to me. I think in this day and age where people give up way too quickly on relationships, you know, being together for 18 years and facing the same challenges as every other couple in the world does, you know, is really inspiring to see how they are today. Malcolm really likes to look after others and, and he has a, you know, love of animals. So that's, you know, having that responsibility. Looking after Sunshine is really important to him. Sunshine really loves him as well. Cameron um, is very much the practical one. Cameron loves making sure everything's clean and tidy. He works very hard. You like your work, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Ross is, is the quieter one amongst, amongst the guys. I think he's the calming influence. Malcolm was fortunate enough to have some money of his own, was able to purchase this house. And then so he then invited some mates that he lived with previously. You know, they decided to come and, you know, live, live here together. He's very much a social butterfly. He needs people around him. With Malcolm going to the men's shed, that's a very important part of his social week. Here's Malcolm, fellas. Oh, yes. Here you go, mate. Oh, how's it today? Here we are, mate. Here's all your gear. You can see uh, his eyes light up when he's got a job to do, and it's, it's rewarding for all of us, I think. That's it, mate. No, that's good. And we'll start putting it together just to see how it looks, OK? It's a little, little stool that I found, actually, on the side of the road, and I thought, what a great job for Malcolm to do this up. We sat down and we talked to family and friends and had a look at, you know, what his passions were and interests and that's how we came to think that the men's shed might be something that Malcolm would like. Um. He loves to know um, his schedule um, and to, you know, just like all of us, looking forward to things. Good, isn't it? You're happy with this? It's going to look, it'll look nice, Malcolm. When it's up and finished, you can put things on the top, put a book on there. Hmm? Yeah? Yeah? Or a cup of tea? Yeah? Yeah? What about a barbecue today? Does that sound good? Barbecue? Yeah? OK. Have a barbecue. And we're going to prepare the meat. And we're going to also make the salad as well. Mm. Malcolm has a look at the pictures and then he, he chooses which uh, activity or food he would, you know, he would like to have. That's how we communicate. I, I know Malcolm's happy by his gestures and, and by his facial expressions. Mm. You're, very, you're very happy at the moment, aren't you? Master Chef, eat your heart out. Start making the patties. How's the tomatoes going? All done? All done? Fantastic. Uh, we'll do some carrot. Malcolm, would you like to put the sausages on for me? He's like um, the captain of the ship. He's, you know, Mr. Organiser. He likes to look forward to things in his day and he enjoys entertaining. They look forward to their barbie. I think it's every... Man's dream to have their, you know, their barbie. OK, Malcolm. We can put that on, onto the table, please. Would you like some tomato sauce? Yeah. 
How is it? Ooh. Yeah? Mm. This is delicious. He's definitely about being independent. If you try and take that independence away, he wouldn't be a happy, happy boy. It means a lot to him. Come on in. It's 3.50. I think his future looks fantastic. He is getting back into life again. You know, we're always looking at into the future as, as to what supports he, he may need. Thank you very much. See you back. Oh, that looks good, Malcolm. We just adapt those supports as he needs them. I'm coming here in the mail clothes. That's what I'm, I'm doing. When I'm coming here to work. And the way boys do it. They're making the books and sit there with their friends. Every morning when I come here, I sit with Victoria. With... Good job. How do you say it? She loves her girlfriend at, at a time. She's so working good hard work. Because it stands out with all the jobs she does, and her attitude towards work is really great. So, Cosette, yeah. I'm setting up another task for you today. She enjoys working with a team. Once we show her one time, and she's able to work independently. Cosette is a person where um, she gives you more energy to keep going. I find myself I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. I keep working in the middle class and the money. I'm going to buy new clothes and buy new house day before I get married. I live here with my mom, my dad. You going to go for a walk? And my brother John. Come on. Presley, my dog. Hold him tight. He was all right to walk when he was a puppy. Not anymore now. He's a... Mm -hmm. I need a firm hand to be able to hold him. He's good stronger. He's just keep running. I go shopping every, every Sunday. I get my own money. I buy myself. <laughs> when I try it on, it's so pretty. This is my favorite paper dress. Look beautiful. Because she knows she can do stuff, she comes home and now she can help mum with the cooking, by making salad. Hey. Thanks for coming. Thank you. That's all you want? <laughs> Sunshine has helped prove her life tenfold to, to create her uh, an independent person. Mess with your ex? Why? Yeah. <laughs> what if he has a new girlfriend? I know. If he, has a, if he has a new girlfriend, she might get jealous. He does get jealous. <laughs> <laughs> they got me first of his little job for now. Then I've done it. Then I went to like this. And so I've done another day, like a full day. Then I got in most intrigued on it, so I just got happier and happier, and I loved it. I wish I could work all, all week. Hello, we're here to do your garden. Their faces light up when we come do the um, gardens. Goes, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like helping old people because I couldn't help my name. So I'm helping the old people for my name. 
Ah, can you fail? How much, how much you nail, Jack? Uh, name the price. Name the price. Mates rates. Yeah, I'll give you mates rates. <laughs> Tell you I'm good at it. I had a rough trial life. Rough trial life. On the drugs, the alcohol. When I was younger, I lost friends, I lost girlfriends, I lost mates. I lost my best mate. And um, now I hardly drink. I don't touch drugs no more. Everyone loves me because I've got an I'm got no attitude no more. All cause this program with sunshine and lifestyles. They both help me out. It's good to get outside, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I couldn't see me and you inside an office. What do you reckon? Who me? Yeah. Never. <laughs> Jeremy, he understands like what us clients go through. There was a um, old man, about yeah, 103, still walking, living on his own and all. That's how amazing what old people can do. I wish I can stay 100 years old so I can get a lead off the cream. You right with that? When I come back from Jeremy to go back to the house, I'm happy, I'm laughing, I'm carrying on. I'm just being, I'm a different person. See you later, I'm going out. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. See ya. bye, -bye. Hey, Lexus, hey, Belle. Hey, how are you going? Hey, guys. Not bad. What have you been up to today? Working, hanging out. Having fun? Having fun. Um, can I have hot, hot chocolate? chocolate? Done. Get a table. Yeah, a yeah, normal table. Lexus is the mastermind of making hot chocolate. Yes, yes. And sometimes he puts my name on the top too. That's nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh. I wish I had I always had charge of my camera, I would take a photo of this. <laughs> yes. How good is that? Hey. Known James going on nearly four years now. And to see James' transition along those years and to see where he is now and, and improving his life and wanting to improve his life genuinely, it's good for James. How you feeling, mate? Should we start our numeracy? Yeah. Yeah? OK. Three, two, love Lena. Like gardening, I love learning how to do gardens, love learning how to do woodwork, all sorts of stuff I love learning. That's all right. We're always learning, aren't we? Yeah. We really accept it, you know, and, and for James, it's all about building that trust with people and, and feeling that connection, and that's what he has here with, with the staff here. And it's great to be in an environment like this where, you know, James can grow and, and really, you know, prosper. And they're all buddy. That's it. That's it, mate. Yeah, hey. that's it, buddy. <laughs> How would you do if you couldn't come to the spot cafe? I don't know. I'd probably go to Subway. <laughs> James, that would break my heart.